I'm ready now. <sighs> Christine O'Hara. Does she suspect anything? No, no, no. She knows nothing. My God, what a sight. Why, what's wrong? Uh, you're white as a corpse. And forgive me, your face is dirty. Oh, well, I'll go and wash it then. The devil loses his power. Yes. The devil has been at work tonight. Listen to me, Jean. Come with me. I've got some money now. Enough? Well, enough to start with. I can't go alone. Not today. Think about it. Midsummer's Day, stuck on a stuffy train with crowds of people staring at me. Waiting in stations when you're longing to be away. I can't do that. I can't. I'd remember midsummer's in childhood, the church garlanded with birch leaves and lilac, and dinner at the long table with family and friends, and afternoons in the park with music and dancing and flowers and games. Oh, however far one runs, your memories follow in the baggage wagon. And remorse and guilt. All right, I'll come with you, but it's got to be now, this minute, before it's too late. Don't get ready, then. No luggage, that'll give us away. No, no, only what we can take in the compartment with us. Well, what's that? What is it? It's only my green finch. Oh, for heaven's sake, we can't take a birdcage with us now. Come on, put it down. It's my one memory of home. It's the only living thing that loves me since Diana. Christine will hear you. Don't be cruel now. Let her take me with me. I won't leave her here for strangers to have. I'd rather you killed her. Well, bring the wretched thing here, then I will. Oh. All right. Look. Don't hurt her, will you? No, I can't. Oh, bring it here. I can. to die now and leave your mistress. Oh, no, please don't make a scene. I'm talking about your life, your habit. Give it here. <gasps> you should have learned to wring a few chickens necks. Anyone would be so frightened of a drop of blood. Now, I curse the moment I set eyes on you. I curse the moment I was conceived in my mother's womb. It's a bit late to start cursing now. Just come on. No, no, I don't want to go yet. <gasps> Do you think I can't stand the sight of blood? Do you think I'm so weak? Oh. I like to see your brains, your blood on a chopping block. I'd like to see all of your sex swimming in a sea of blood. I think I could drink from your skull. I could dabble my feet in your chest and eat your heart roasted. You think I'm weak? You think I loved you just because something in me cried out for your seed? Do you think I want to carry your spawn under my heart, bear your child and take your name? By the way, what 
What is your surname? You know, I don't think I've ever heard it. I'd have to be Mrs. Kitchen Boy or Mrs. Lavatory Man, you dog who wear my collar, you lackey who wear my crest on your buttons. Am I to share with my own cock? Compete with my own scullery maid? You think I'm a coward? You think I'm going to run away? No. Now I shall stay. Let the storm break. My father will come home. He'll find his desk broken into, his money gone, and he'll ring this bell twice for his lucky. And then he'll send for the police, and I shall tell them everything. Everything. And thank God that will be the end of all of this, if there is an end. Then he'll have a stroke and die, and then we shall all be finished. And then there will be peace, everlasting rest. The coat of arms will be broken over the coffin, the title extinct. Oh, but the lackey's line. The lackey's line will go on in an orphanage, win laurels in a gutter, and die in a jail. Bravo, Miss Julie. That's the blue blood talking. Whoever would have thought your ancestor was a miller? Help me, Christine. Help me against this man. What kind of a spectacle is this on a Sunday morning? Big sigh you've made there. What does all this mean? I never heard such shouting and bawling. Christine, you're a woman. You're my friend. Don't trust this man. He's a scoundrel. Well, while you ladies discuss the matter, I think I'll have a shave. Christine, you must try and understand. No, you this must... kind of thing I don't understand. Where are you going in those clothes? Well, what's he doing with his hat on, eh? Eh? Listen to me and I'll explain everything. I don't want to know anything. You must listen to me. About what? About what you've done with Jean? That doesn't bother me. But if you're thinking of trying to fool him into running away with you, we'll soon put a stop to that. Now, try to be calm, Christine. And listen to me. I, I can't stay here. And Jean can't stay here. So we have to go away. Listen, I've just had an idea. Why don't we all three go away, abroad, to Switzerland and start a hotel? I have money, you see, and Jean and I could run it, and you, well, I thought you could be in charge of the kitchen. Isn't that a good idea? S say yes now, and then everything will be settled. Say yes now. You've never been abroad, have you, Christine? You know you really should travel and see the world. You've no idea what fun it is to travel by train. New people, new places. We'll go to Hamburg and... Visit the zoo, you'll like that, and we'll go to the theatre and listen to the opera. And when we get to Munich, there'll be the museums and Rubens and Raphael, those great painters, you know? You've heard of Munich, haven't you? You know Munich where King Ludwig lived, the king who went mad? And there'll be his palaces. They still have palaces there, you know, just like in the fairy tales. And from there, it isn't far to Switzerland and the Alps. Oh, Christine, imagine the Alps with snow on them in the middle of summer and oranges grow there, and laurel trees that are green all the year round. And we'll start the hotel there. I'll sit at the desk, and while Jean stands in the doorway and receives the guests, and I'll do the shopping and write the letters, and... Oh, Christine, what a life it'll be. The trains will whistle, and the buses will arrive, and the bells will ring on all the floors and in the restaurant, too, and... I will write the bills and salt them, too. You've no idea how timid tourists are when they have a bill in their hands. And you, well, you'll be in charge of the kitchen. You won't have to do any cooking yourself, of course. And you'll have fine clothes for the guests to see you in. And with your looks, I'm not flattering you, Christine. You'll get yourself a fine husband one day. You'll see a rich Englishman. English people are so easy to catch. And we'll become rich. And we'll build a villa on Lake Como. It, it rains there sometimes, too, of course, but it must shine. The sun must shine sometimes, and even if it looks dark, and, well, if it doesn't, we can always come back home. Back here. Somewhere. 
Now listen. Do you believe all this? Do I believe it? Yes. I don't believe in anything anymore. Nothing. Nothing at all. 